Welcome to lesson two of the sine law. Uh, in lesson one, what we looked at is what is the sine law related to triangles. And the sine law is uh, equivalent ratios. It says that sine of angle A over side A is equivalent to sine of angle B over side B is equivalent to sine of angle C over side C, or you could take the reciprocal. Um, one thing that we looked at in that lesson was that we use this version, which is the angles in the numerators when you're solving for angles. And we use this version, the second version, when we're solving for side lengths. And that's because the angles are in the numerator in the first version, and the side lengths are in the numerator in the second version. It's just easier for solving for numerators. Uh, one problem that we looked at was how to solve for side lengths. And we set up the sine law and solved that way. And another is for how we solve for, or solve for an angle. Basically, that's all we need to do, except there will be some word problems that we're looking at here, uh, which add some intricacies and there's some problem solving involved with them. So let's look at the next example and continue from where we left off. Example number four says, in triangle PQR, angle P is 36 degrees, side P is 24.8 meters, side Q is 23.4 meters, and determine the measure of angle R to the nearest degree. Uh, in your notes, the triangle isn't here yet. I'm going to start labeling it. So angle P, it says, is 36 degrees. And you want to attempt to draw these somewhat to scale so you can see if your answer is, looks accurate. Uh, side P, which is opposite angle P, would be 36 degrees. And I'm going to call side Q, which is opposite angle Q, 23.4 meters. And what we're looking for here is what is the measure of angle R? So ultimately, we're looking for this angle here. Since we don't have the opposite side of angle R, we actually have to approach this in a problem-solving manner. To use the sine law, we have to have an angle on its opposite side. So we have 36 degrees and its opposite side, 24.8. Now, what we're going to have to solve for next is the opposite of 23.4 meters, which is actually angle Q. That's going to help us solve for angle R. So for solving for an angle, again, one thing to ask ourselves, which version of these are we going to use when we're solving for an angle, which is we're going to solve for angle Q. We always have the angles in the numerator, so we're going to use this version right here where the angles in the numerator. So if we set it up, we always want the unknown in the numerator of our first proportion. So it will look like this, sine of angle Q over its opposite side, 23.4, is equivalent to sine of 36 degrees over its opposite, which is 24.8. Now to solve, we multiply both sides by 23.4. And again, as I mentioned in the previous lesson, make sure you use your calculator carefully, and you may want to hit equals more often than not. Another side note is make sure your calculator is in degree mode. So uh, I'm going to do sine 36, hit equals. That's the value of sine 36. Now I'm going to divide it by 24.8. So that's that proportion right here. And then I could times it by 23.4. So that gives me 0 0.5546. That's what sine Q is equal to. So sine Q is equivalent to 0 0.5546, etc. And as we learned in the previous lesson, the opposite of sine is the sine inverse. So I'm solving for an angle. I would take the sine inverse of 0 0.5546, etc. Uh, so in order to do that, I'll show you in my calculator. I don't have to retype that button in. I could press second sine and of the answer and hit equals, and that's roughly, says so to the nearest whole degree, so 34 degrees. So angle Q is 34 degrees. Okay, so to solve for angle R, if we know two angles in a triangle, the third angle should be pretty easy. So angle R would be equal to 180 degrees, that's the sum of a triangle, minus 36 degrees, and minus, sorry, 34 degrees. And that's equivalent to 110 degrees. Uh, let's look at two more problems in this lesson. Actually, one more problem. This question says, two support wires form an angle of 50 degrees at the top of a telephone pole. On the ground, the wires are 13 meters apart. If one wire makes a 55 degree angle with the ground, determine the length of the longer wire to the nearest tenth. So two support wires form an angle at the top of a telephone pole. So here's this red line is our telephone pole, and the angle that it creates is 50 degrees. So this angle here is 50 degrees. So you have to um, read it introduce the problem, and that's what we're doing next. On the ground, the wires are 13 meters apart. So on the ground, this distance here is 13 meters. <clears throat> if one wire makes a 55 degree angle with the ground, which I'm going to call this angle right here, 
It states, determine the length of the longer wire. So one question we first of all need to answer is which one of these two wires is going to be longer? Um, if you didn't draw your triangle accurately, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But first of all, what I'll do is find out that this angle here, that's going to help me identify which is the longer wire, is going to be 180 minus 50 minus 55. And that's a total of 75 degrees. So since this wire here makes a sharper angle with the ground, or sorry, a steeper angle with the ground, the longer wire is going to be the 55 degree one. If you couldn't solve that, then what you'd want to do is solve for both lengths and then state which one is shorter. But I've identified just by my practical use of these angles that this is the longer wire. So in this case, we're going to look at the entire triangle. So let me highlight the entire triangle in green. Telephone pole actually doesn't matter in this problem. If we look at this entire triangle, to use the sine law, we need an angle on its opposite side. So in this particular case, we have that 50 degrees is opposite 13 meters. And if we're solving for side x, we know that it's opposite. So side x is opposite 75 degrees. So we have to solve for that angle anyways. Uh, so the version that we're going to use is when um, side lengths are in the numerator. So this would be x over Maybe I'll use the appropriate colors. I'll use purple. Uh, side length x over the sine of 75 is equivalent to side length 13 over sine of its opposite angle, which is sine 50. And the one step of algebra that this, that this requires is sine, multiply both sides by sine 75. And again, be careful as to how you calculate that part on your calculator if you're going to do it in one step. So x is equivalent to... And I would do 13 divided by sine 50, hit equals, there's my proportion, and now times that by sine 75 degrees. And that gets me roughly 16.4 to the nearest tenth, so that distance uh, would be 16.4 meters. And the thing to do in word problems is always consider the context and if it makes sense. This length is, could reasonably be 16.4 meters.